All right, Shalom. First, we want to start by giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh by Hashem and Habashai, by Hashem and Kakodash, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai, Brakate Yahweh, Brakate Yahushai. Yahweh be the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai be the name of his beloved Son who the world inwardly calls Jesus Christ. That's their true names in the last one, Kodash, in ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the Lord's elect. I'm back with another lesson through the spirit of Pavi Al Bashim Al Shai. And uh, I think I'm going to title this one Like Precious Faith. Okay, Like Precious Faith, which comes from 2 Peter 1 and 1. Simon Peter, a servant and apostle of Yahweh Shai, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through righteousness of the Most High and our Savior Yahweh Shai. All right, this truth that we have, this faith that we have, okay, is, is, is precious. Okay, and what makes something precious? The fact that it's not abundant. Okay, the scriptures constantly refer to the elect as gold. It refers to our faith being tried as gold. All right, and gold is the number one precious metal because it's not in abundance. Okay, and um, we understand that faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashmah Shai, okay, and it wasn't given to majority of Jake, all right? It was given to a select few, which the scriptures tell us, um, uh, let me see, Second Thessalonians 3. Second Thessalonians 3 and 2, it says, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith, okay? So we're focusing in on that latter por portion of that scripture. For all men have not faith, okay? How about Shema Shah didn't, um, you know, give this faith to a majority of our people. The scriptures say, um, you know what, let me get this in the NLT. NLT says, pray too that we will be rescued from wicked and evil people, for not everyone is a believer. Right, which we know the only believers are of the nation of Israel, and majority of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, you don't, uh, you wasn't given faith. You wasn't given faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai. Let me see if the scriptures say a remnant shall return. I think it's Isaiah twenty-eight. Is it Isaiah twenty-eight? Right, twenty. Isaiah 10, Shalakia. All right, so let's go to Isaiah 10. All right, because this thing is extremely precious, man. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but they shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel in truth. The remnant shall return, all right? The remnant, the elect, you always hear us speak of the elect because these were, these were the ones that were called. These were the ones that were chosen. These were the ones that were given faith, okay? These were, these were the ones that were um, blessed with that gift, the greatest gift a man can receive, faith in Yahweh by Shema Shai. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty power. For though... That people Israel be as the sand of the sea, all right, we're the, we're the largest nation on earth, yet a remnant of them shall return, all right? So a remnant is carrying that faith. That means a remnant is only, only that remnant is pleasing how about Shema Shai. For though that people Israel be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant shall return, the consumption decree shall overflow with righteousness, okay? So, uh, only a remnant shall return. All right, so this thing is extremely precious, man. Now let's go to the word precious. In Adam online, it says valuable, of great worth, of, of price, 
costly, right? This 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 truth, this faith that we have is of the of the utmost uh, value. Okay, precious, costly, honorable, of great worth. Um, you know, it's just it's something that's extremely valuable. You know. <clears throat> let me go to. Uh, let me go to. Ephesians two. Because this is the greatest gift, man, that you can receive. This is Ephesians 2 and 8. It says, For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we didn't give ourselves this gift. You know, it's not of ourselves that we believe, man. This is this conviction is divine. You know, this was given to us, you know, before um, the earth was created. Let's go to 2nd Edges 6 chapter. 2nd Edges 6 and 1. And he said unto me, in the beginning, when the earth was made, before the borders of the world stood, or ever the winds blew, before it thundered and lightened, or ever the foundations of the paradise were laid, before the fair flowers were seen, or ever the movable powers were established, before the innumerable multitude of angels were gathered together, or ever the heights of the air were lifted up, before the measures of the firmament were named, or ever the chimneys in Zion were hot, and ere the present years were sought out, or ever the inventions of them that now sin were turned, before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Okay? Be before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. Who's that speaking of? That remnant, that elect. All right? And then in this time, we call ourselves the hopeful elect. All right? Because we don't, we don't, we don't know if we're chosen, but we've definitely been called. Okay? So it says, before they were sealed, they have gathered faith for a treasure. All right, so this gift is a treasure. This thing is precious, man. Okay, this is the this is the um, this is the greatest thing that you can have. You know, walking upon this earth, faith and fear in Yahweh Bashmal Shai, and only the elect is going to see the value in this word. Matthew, I believe it's 13. Matthew 13, 13 and 14. Matthew 13, 13 and 14. All right, the elect is willing to lose everything for this thing, for this truth. This is Matthew 13 and 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like, like unto treasure hid in a field, the which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field. All right, because we see the value in this thing. All right, we're willing to lose our lives to gain our life. For, you know, lose our lives for Yahweh Bashmah Shah to gain our lives in Yahweh Bashmah Shah. All right? And that's that. What will cause a man to do that? Faith. That 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 deep rooted uh, conviction, you know, within us, man. All right, we found home with this word. Okay, but the rest of our people, they don't see the value in this truth. You know, they don't see they don't see the treasure that we see. All right, and soon we will reap the benefits, which we are, we already are. But you know, as we get closer to the end, the Lord is gonna, you know, uh, show us more and more that He's with us. You know, through different uh, actions, different miracles. Okay, so this this is it right here. Um. Let me get uh let me go to I'm already there. Matthew 13. Let me let me just go there. Alright, Matthew 13 and um and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them. Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You see, this is a gift. All right, this is a gift. To them it is not given. Now let's look up this word. Um, the mysteries. Strong's G thirty-four sixty-six, Mustadion. Mustadion. Says a hidden thing, a secret, a mystery, 
generally mysteries, religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals. You see? So this faith, this truth that was given, it was only given to the initiated, which is that remnant, that elect, and not to the ordinary mortals, which are, you know, the, the, the rest of our nation. Okay? And those are the ones that we're concerned with. You know, the ones that was given that gift. Let's go to Second Edges 12. Second Edges 12 and 36. It says that thou only has been meet to know the secret of the highest. Right? This truth. Therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in a book and hide them. And teach them to the wise of the people whose hearts thou knowest may comprehend and keep these secrets. Right? And what makes one wise? What's the what's the first step of uh, of uh you know being wise? Fear you how about your mouth shy. Alright. Um let's type in uh Second Step. You know, what's the scripture say? Uh, here we go. Sirach 19 and 18, it says, The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtain of his love. All right. So that's the first step of being accepted of the Lord is fearing him. <clears throat> and that fear is found with, within who? That faith and fear is found in with who, man? The elect. This is Sirach 1 and 14. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Because faith and fear is a package. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. Who was that? The elect, the ones that were uh, predestined to believe, the ones that were predestined to, uh, you know, have this gift. Okay? Which the scriptures say what? Uh, fear of the Lord is their treasure. Isaiah 33 and 6, it says, the wit, uh, and wisdom and knowledge, all right, the wisdom and knowledge of the scriptures shall be the stability of thy times. When you go into the word stability, it goes back to uh, Amawana, which goes back to faith. So faith is going to keep us stable in these times and the times ahead. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Alright. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. The scriptures tell us in the fear of the Lord is strong confidence. Which confidence goes back to faith. Okay. Huh. So this thing is, is, is extremely valuable. Extremely precious. You know. And the scriptures say what. Uh, neglect not the, the, the gift that is given to thee. You know, this faith, you know, so, we, you know, we see the value in this truth. Um, you know, we are, we are, we are extremely blessed. The scriptures say blessed, blessed are ye. Let me grab that. Uh, I'm going to end it here. This is uh this is this is uh John twenty and uh, twenty six and after eight days again his disciples were within and Thomas with them. Then came Yahushai, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands. And reach hither my hand and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my and my power. Yahweh shall save unto unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they uh, that have not seen, and yet have believed. Okay, because we haven't seen Yahweh shall. I think it's First Peter one. So blessed are them that have not seen 
and believe. You know, blessed are those that have that gift. Uh, here we go. This is uh, 1 Peter 1. I'm going to end it here, Salakia. 1 and 6. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through manifold temptations, right? Because this, this gift comes with, um, you know, afflictions, okay? That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold, that perisheth, right? This faith is more precious than gold, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai, whom having not seen, you love, right? And, and whom, though now you see him not, yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Okay? So we haven't seen Yahweh Shai, but we love him. All right? And we believe. We have faith. And our faith is more precious than gold. All right? So... Like I said, I'm entitled to the Lord's will. Somewhere around uh, like a precious faith. You know, the Lord's will is edifying. Giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Until next time, Shalom.